All right, so we are in another episode. This time I'm gonna be showing you how to play 2.6 uh, Super Ape. Uh, I mean, not, not 2.6 Super Ape. I'm already stumbling. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to play uh, this Super Ape EQ uh, deck with Mortar. And we're gonna be having a first game against UUU. So it looks like he's very active and tries to <laughs> catch up with metals very quickly obviously we won't let him uh, won't let him uh, uh, to achieve that and we are gonna be having also the advantage in the first game he's gonna be trying to cycle to another machine gun which is a correct call and in the meantime we're gonna be having just a hardest of hardest of counters and that's gonna be pretty much the game. I don't think I can go for offensive mortars, but at the same time, he's not playing anything, so I might as well. Here's the swordman. He's gonna be trying to block my mortar for the eternity right now, which is the correct call. I'm gonna predict his archers like this, and we're gonna actually get a, a mortar lock on the tower. We're gonna obviously block this one. Uh, for a bit longer. I'm gonna actually get second shot, so it's very good for us. And if I'm uh, aware of the situation correctly, I'm gonna be up uh, a little bit of mana after this exchange, so we're gonna go for another art artillery. Right here. I'm gonna force this Ice Tiny to jump very swiftly. Well, it didn't work out this time, but you have to take every opportunity you're given and I'm gonna try to snatch this knight as soon as possible. This time also it's gonna be very tough defense for me for the reason that yeah he's gonna be having a very good machine gun setup. So it was very good attack for him honestly and I'm gonna be playing another Another mortar, this time for defense, because I predicted he's gonna be going for the machine gun, and that was another successful defense. He's gonna be playing these high cannons, which I honestly don't find that annoying. Uh, I'm gonna play EQ this time on, on this machine gun, it's gonna get a kill, which is very nice. I'm gonna now play Swordman. Unfortunately, it's gonna go in the range of cannon, so I'm gonna have to now place very low mortar. And uh, if he would be smart, he would play a um, uh, he would play a flying bomb on that because uh, in this matchup the damage for him is very scarce, and he pretty much has to take any chance he has. I'm gonna play another mortar because well. He's gonna just, uh, yeah, he, he, now he's gonna take the uh, chance and that's a great call because, well, like I've said, he will have uh, some troubles with getting damage this game. I'm gonna play a Mortar right now. He's gonna be playing Swordman and right now we're gonna just cycle EQ on that and that's gonna be Lights Out. So. That was a very good game with you, first game. Obviously I had a matchup once again, but he played very correctly and pretty much one mistake would have ended the game. Also another thing to mention is that I'm playing right now with a pirate language. Boom Arena had a update recently which introduced a, a new language. So that's gonna be uh, something to talk about right now. Uh, there are a couple of new languages, obviously there are like legit languages that are accepted uh, throughout the world uh, and there are two unique uh, languages for this game, one of them being called Circle Jerry, which is like a meme language and another one being uh, a pirate language which I'm using right now. He's gonna go, yeah, he's gonna go for a cannon, which is very good choice. Right now I think he should be playing a flying bomb, but at the same time 
uh, yeah, he, he should be playing flying bomb just on the tower, not even uh, trying to uh, snatch the gunner because as the game progresses, I'm gonna just uh, uh, get more control. And if I uh, manage to stabilize this game into like the equal uh, double mana time, he, he's gonna experience the exact same thing he did in the previous game. So I'm gonna obviously take out this far tire ice tiny i mean and right now he's gonna play a rolling steel and already i'm gonna be having a, a comfortable advantage i'm gonna be playing some swordsman right here which is called scourge uh, i'm gonna be playing eq here which is which hopefully yeah it, it's gonna kill the machine gun eventually but i was scared that this machine gun would uh, connect uh, for a bit uh, to my tower and obviously that's not something you want so yeah we're, we're gonna just play it out and unfortunate for you because uh, he waited for a bit to uh, go to matchmaking uh, again and it's pretty much the trick that i used as well because i tried to avoid him because well while it's a free win for me right now, it's not making for a good content in the video when I'm just uh, beating one man over and over again, especially with a good matchup. So uh, after this one, I'm gonna try to actually uh, get a uh, another opponent and not you, you hopefully. Uh, apart from that, yeah, I'm gonna get a kill on that. That's very good. Uh, I'm gonna try to block this gunner, that's right. And I'm gonna keep, keep this gunner alive actually. I'm gonna just try to uh, make as much chaos in his position as is humanly possible. This, uh, this is gonna be a very good uh, machine gun out of him and it's gonna actually force uh, out spells out of me, which is, well, Medialink spell damage is actually okay in this matchup, it's uh, the thing that I want to be doing anyway, but uh, if you're uh, being forced to use spells, it's usually not a good thing. I'm gonna obviously protect this gunner right now. Uh, we're gonna see if he's gonna... Okay, he's gonna pre predict with archers, which is, well, uh, once again, very nice play of him. We're gonna play. Right now, Super Ape on this machine gun, play some Q to kill this one, and yeah, we've pretty much managed to uh, lock this position, and right now he pretty much uh, can only get damage uh, via spells. So, to say the least, it's a very good position for us. I'm gonna try to get EQ, this mortar will help, and yeah, that's gonna be the end of the game, so... Against Machine Gun, you actually, even though you have a counter, you want to play very patiently because, well, one mistake and you're probably out. Right now, I'm gonna just wait for a bit in matchmaking and try to avoid you, you this this time. Plunder be jolly. And we are in the game number three, this time against Ice Punch, which is a 1800 medal player. He kinda got some medals over time. As I can see, uh, he's gonna be trading equally with me uh, at the beginning of this game, that's absolutely normal. Uh, and if I recall correctly, he's playing Dark Knight Bait, so that's gonna be uh, some matchup that is very uh, nice to learn how to beat Dark Knight with Super 8 because it is very easy matchup uh, on paper for a Super 8 player, but you have to know how to uh, conclude it. So. I'm gonna actually play Far Tiny, which is not the correct call, but uh, the position demanded it, so it had to be played. And right now we're gonna go for the counter-attack, since our opponent yeah, will, will be forced to use spells and very expensive ones, and he, still he will receive a shot, so that's gonna be very good for us. We're gonna protect the mortar, and <laughs> right now after defending... Oh, he's gonna give up. Well... That was very short, but essentially what you want to do in this game is in single mana just defend his pressure and then counter push with like mortar because like mortar is very hard for him to stop and double mana you want to set up mortars defensively so you can uh, 
so you can survive actually his spam because in double mana this deck pretty gets scary against us especially when he uh, gets very good skeleton hex like mortars will be have to play it every time very well so that's how to play this matchup i'm gonna jump to the game number four and we are in another game of the video it's gonna be against 124 metal player called emote emote goat we're gonna see if he's really the goat as he fails to activate the viking tower which is already a sign that uh, he might not be the goat at all but uh, on the other side uh, like these mistakes happen even to the best sometimes so well we're gonna give him benefit of a doubt so for now uh, what i'm thinking is he playing is uh, like a uh, digger without piercing our okay he, he's playing piercing archer so that doubt we have out of the way we're gonna get a very good trade since piercing archer got only one shot and right now we're gonna just play mortar and see what happens he's gonna most likely play a bomb tower and here it is it's gonna be a very good trade for him but the mortar will connect and that was pretty much my intention all along since he's very down in mana he's gonna have to play some greedy plays and that's why i'm playing this uh, fire tiny now he's gonna go for another cyclone and he once again he will fail so it's very unfortunate for him that he misses it uh, two times in one game we're gonna counter these bone blasters with a gunner very handy play to remember uh, especially when you uh, kind of want to preserve both towers at high hp i didn't have to but my position is very comfortable so i can just do it and uh, it won't hurt me at all uh, i'm gonna play eq on this and this on the piercing archer and the mortar with i mean on the bomb tower and yeah that's gonna just bring uh, his tower into one eq range uh, which is which is usually good if you think about it right now i pretty much have to just defend him and not attack but l like i've said since my position is so good i'm gonna keep attacking and also because I'm kind of bored and yeah, I, I don't I don't think this game is uh, losable. So some tips how to play, play this matchup. Uh, I would say, uh, first of all, don't attack with Mortar. I attacked with Mortar only because he was already very low on mana. But usually you will be equal on mana uh, against this deck. So I'm, I'm not recommending you to attack very often with Mortar. Usually you want to actually play Mortar in this placement that I've played uh, uh, just now. It's the uh, center Mortar. It uh, pulls the Bone Blasters from both lanes. Uh, and simultaneously it uh, uh, like... Uh, doesn't give a good lineup for enemy piercing uh, uh, piercing archer. So I'm gonna just play far tiny. Hope he understands that his position. Yeah, he, he's he's gonna defend anyway. Obviously, <laughs> the game isn't over till it's over. Uh, well, sometimes it is the case, but I had EQ, so we're gonna close this one. Uh, another thing is you don't want to play swordmans on his. Diggers usually want to play skeletons and uh, two things may happen. First of all, uh, the thing that may happen is that, well, skeletons trade very well against digger. And second thing is that he can uh, cyclone these skeletons. And in this case, he spent six mana for one and he's going all in. In this case, you can play swordman, but then you have to just worry about piercing archer at the bridge. So that, that's some key details on how to how you want to play this. Uh, you didn't see any of that in this game because I was just too far ahead. And the last game will be against Robin, who is gonna be having 1200 medals. It's also very close to the end of the season, so uh, these are uh, pretty much uh, uh, almost uh, almost final results for these players. Uh, I think uh, many players uh, got very good season these days. Robin will be playing Steelbait and against Steelbait we have a fabulous matchup due to one interaction I'm gonna show in a moment's notice. Uh, it's gonna be uh, the fact that I can 
uh, fully counter the uh, phone keg with just fire time. So if he ever plays, okay, he's gonna he's gonna give up. I'm gonna even prevent him from activating my Viking. And unfortunately, Robin won't be uh, playing out this game, even though I wanted to uh, show that with proper placement and proper timing, you can fully counter a phone barrel, and it's not even like uh, very hard. So you can pull it every time, and that's why this. Matchup is very frustrating for steel bait players, and he pretty much knows that. So, yeah, that's gonna be it for uh, today's video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of that in the future, and comment down below if you like this type of content that I'm making. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna see you in the next episode of Boom Arena. Bye bye.